Bear's been working on short stature corn for more than 15 years. Um, I started working on short stature corn about seven years ago. Over the next 10 years, I would think 70 to 80% of the acres that corn has grown on today would be a good fit for Prescian. One of the big things I've learned is Prescian short corn is corn with less risk to wind and it's normal corn if we don't do anything else to manage it more intensely. We've taken a very different approach with the launch of Prescian, focusing on a select group of customers that are very progressive, that are early adopters, that are digitally savvy. Working with a progressive grower I think is a unique situation. They're always wanting to raise the bar on their production and they're usually the ones that are more accommodating to trying different stuff or trying new systems or new approaches to to raising corn in Iowa. It's uh, it's pretty cool to be able to work with other people that are in the same situation or working with the same high yield, same next level thought process. Um, I think iron sharpens iron so if you if you're working with a grower that is pushing 300 bushel corn and maybe now it's 330, 350, how do we get to there? What are they doing? When you're dealing with a product like Prescian, I think you have to look at it as a system approach. It's not just planting the seed. It's pairing up and aligning with the right dealers, the right farmers that will address this system fully. We're talking about increasing your fertility programs to feed more plants. This product allows farmers to plant at a higher population and not give up standability or harvestability. If we can put a few more plants out there with less risk, then we should should end up winning at the end of the day. But we also need to feed that, that same acre a little more. Their first approach typically is, let me just plant it and manage it the way that I manage my tall corn and see how it compares. So then they start playing with it. They'll, so they'll add some population and they'll see a yield bump and then they're like, okay, I'm gonna add some fertility and I'm gonna change the way, the timing I do my fertility and my fungicide and then they'll, they'll see that bump. And that's been incredibly rewarding, I think, for us, this partnership and collaboration that we've built with these select customers. Most of the time that we've dealt with the, the Pressions, it has been some of my growers' highest yielding corn. Now, granted, we, we have pushed pop a little bit on that and we have fed it accordingly. That's probably the biggest thing is, is making sure we're uh, matching everything up, not just population or, or some other crop protection that we put out there. It is plant food. Plant food leads the way. It really leads these genetics to where we, we know we can get. It's really been fun because there's a lot of buzz in the country, right, about it. You know, growers talk, everybody's on Snapchat. Prescian was the buzz in our neck of the woods. The yield that it brought in, been doing this for 22 years. That was as close uh, to to bumping that 300 bushel mark that I've ever seen on field averages. Bear is very committed to this product concept and this new technology of short stature corn. We have multiple um, technologies in our pipeline to achieve a shorter stature plant and we're committed to that and invested in that because we truly believe this is going to transform corn production. Um, this is the farming of the future for sure.